All right, guys, well, I'm back today with a very interesting digital night vision device. This is an awesome little monocular from Creative XP. This is their 2021 edition of their digital night vision monocular. This is an interesting design because it is so small. You can see how tiny this is compared to other night vision monoculars I reviewed on the channel. A lot of the other ones are about twice as large as this. And they're a little bit more cumbersome if you wanted to stow them away in a battle belt, put them in your pocket, things like that. Then I've tried some other micro night vision monoculars, very similar in size to this in the past, but I've always found them to be rather disappointing in image quality and overall use. They were cheap, right around $100, $120, but they never really did what I needed them to do, and they were almost kind of at just one of those things I wasn't too thrilled with them. So when this one came along, I was a little bit skeptical, but this company reached out to me and wanted to send me some of their products. I saw this, so I figured we'd start with this and I'd take a look at it and be brutally honest. And I'm honestly rather surprised at how good it is for the size and price. These generally sell for $199, but they're on sale for $139 with free prime shipping. And not only that, they've included a coupon, a clickable coupon on the Amazon link for $20 off, bringing them down to $119 with free shipping. So that is a very, very good price. And I talked to them about leaving that code up for the uh, length of this video, and they said they would as long as they have enough stock. So a lot of times when these things sell out, they have to restock, prices can change and fluctuate. So if you were interested in something like this at the end of the video, I'd jump on and I'll leave a link in the description below. But enough talking about that. Let's talk about the specs and features and performance of this outside and how it performed in and around the home. So the very first thing I want to discuss is the overall feature set. And you can see it's got this nice little hand strap and it actually is very ergonomic. It kind of guides your fingers where they need to go. And that's very key when you're using a night vision monocular in complete dark because obviously you can't see the buttons. And if you're using a flashlight to see the buttons, then it kind of defeats the purpose of using night vision. So your thumb easily accesses the power button and the mode button. But most of the time you really just need to access the power button. Once you do, the screen turns on, and this is where it gets interesting. Ignore the little screen protector. I haven't taken it off yet. Normally, a lot of times, especially on these smaller ones, the screens sit back a little bit further. You look through a magnifying lens, and then you have to look through like a pane of glass, and they're deep receded back into the night vision. To keep this small, they actually move the screen right to the edge, so you don't necessarily have to hold this right to your eye. In fact, you can hold this about 8 to 10, even 12 inches away from your eye, and still see the screen, which is pretty cool. Also, the screen is rather crisp and clear, and it's got a very good image quality. This one also has a record feature and an IR illuminator built into the bottom right here, and this focusing knob at the front. This is made out of plastic, but it feels solid. Again, a lot better than some of those other smaller digital night vision monoculars I've tried in the past. It also has a rubberized texturing and protective end piece right here for the front lens system. To turn on the IR illuminator, again, it's very intuitive. So your fingers will reach up and you'll be able to feel these three buttons. And again, use your thumb for the power. The first button is the record feature. So as soon as you click this, you'll start recording. It actually comes with an SD card in the box. So everything you need, you are good to go. In fact, I was recording last night and we still have about five and a half hours of footage left. So it really does have everything you need right in the box, nothing to buy extra. Moving along, you have the IR up and down. It seems like this has seven IR settings and you're not gonna hurt this digital night vision monocular by using it in the day. That's another nice feature of digital night vision. So when you click it on, it actually switches over from daytime mode to nighttime mode, registers IR and turns on the IR lamp right here. You'll be able to cycle through the IR settings until it turns back off again. And then you can switch back into the daytime mode if you choose to. I found that this actually works, as you can see, all the way out to about 150 yards, and you can really get good image qualities. And even though the screen is rather small, you can still make out what you're seeing at about 125, 150 yards. I could easily uh, distinguish between a deer or a smaller animal or a person on my property, something like that. So this is going to be good even out to about 150 yards. Now, 
Also, if you're looking at something like a man-made structure, it seems like you can get out to about two, 250 yards and really see what's going on. It seems like light, at least the IR light anyways, reflects off of man-made structures a little bit better than kind of animals blending into the brush. So if you were looking at something like this for a spotting scope, uh, definitely kind of consider it about 150 yards max, maybe 200 depending on what you're looking at, like a larger animal. But if you're looking at man-made structures, vehicles, things like that, you can make a lot of detail out even past that range. So I'm really impressed like, about, about this uh, range for such a small digital night vision binocular. The other thing I wanna talk about is it auto focuses, auto dims, things not auto focuses, auto dims. So if you're looking up close, uh, the screen itself is going to adjust the way it takes in IR light. So that is pretty slick. So if you're looking up close at maybe a barn, a car, a house, something like that, and then you switch over to the field, it's going to automatically adjust the backlight setting on here to kind of increase and decrease that brightness as necessary. So when you're seeing the videos, I can track a car down the road and it doesn't kind of like wash out and blind you out with their headlights and you can go right back to normal looking in a field again. So that is another nice touch. Seems like the battery life is pretty good. You guys know it's been really cold lately and this thing has been holding up well and it takes five AA batteries in this side compartment right here. Overall, I'm incredibly impressed at the image quality and the overall quality of this night vision monocular, especially if you can grab it while it's on sale for that 140 price or even really grab it when I'm first doing this video and use that clickable 20% or $20 off code. And to get that again, you'll have to actually go to the Amazon link in the description below. You'll see a little button with an orange flag that says coupon. Click that and that discount will be applied to your cart. This also is an affiliate link, so if you decide you want to purchase this or anything from Amazon and you start by clicking that link, it helps out the channel at no added cost to you. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.